guys, what's going on? It's Massive Joe's Raw Review, and I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. Awesome Raw Review for the viewers at home today on one of the most highly anticipated pre-workout reformulations we have seen thus far from our good friends at MTS Nutrition. It is a course. Ruckus in the house. Let's get straight into it, show you guys exactly what's in it, tell you exactly what it's going to do. That nutrition information panel ain't going to get it done. We're about to go balls deep <laughs> in this all new MTS Ruckus. Fortunately, got myself a big ass nutritional information panel for the viewers at home. In fact, Dylan, before you cut that panel up, let me just let me just firstly give a bit of background for the viewers who are unaware on this uh, this MTS ruckus. So this is the reformulation of the OG MTS ruckus, which initially launched. If I if I if I have my dates right, I'm gonna say 2015. So you know about three years, possibly a little bit longer, three to four years ago. This is now the new formulation of ruckus. So the OG ruckus is done and dusted. That's finished. This is the new formulation of Ruckus. It's not called Ruckus V2 or Ruckus X or Ruckus uh, and some other bullshit on the end of it. It's just called Ruckus and it supersedes the OG Ruckus and it is an all new reformulation. Now we can go balls deep. Dilip, cut up the nutritional panel on screen for the viewers so they can play along at home. Starting from the top, serving size, 7.6 grams, approximately a one scoop. Got yourself about 25 of them, one scoop, one scoop, 7.6 gram bitches. And one of these MTS ruckus bitches in terms of what the 7.6 grams, excuse me, grams is made up of. As MTS do with all of their products, they give us full disclosure on their nutritional information panel. So we can go through, do a quick addition, add up all of the active ingredients and find out there is 4.924 grams of actives spread across 10 active ingredients. So we're dealing with 65% actives, 35% flavors and sweeteners. I will uh, point out now that MTS are really moving away from artificial colors and dyes in all all of their products, including their pre-workouts. So Ruckus, uh, where the OG Ruckus did have artificial colors and dyes in it, this all new Ruckus does not have artificial colors or dyes, and we will talk more about that when we do the infamous Massive Joe's Taste and Mixability Test a little later on. But now, let's get into the active ingredients. Starting from the top, L-tyrosine, a 1.5 grams, 1500 milligrams L-tyrosine, of course, a nootropic amino acid. It's a precursor to L-dopa, which is a precursor to the neurotransmitters, dopamine, nor adrenaline, and adrenaline. It's gonna improve cognition in the presence of stress. The clinical dose is 500 to 2000 milligrams. We have 1500 milligrams, so it is towards the higher end of that dosing range, where we go so far as to say it is perfectly dosed. Then we get into betaine nitrate NO3T. Now this is the registered patented betaine nitrate and this is the first time apart from the OG ruckus that we have seen betaine nitrate used in a pre-workout before. So not the first time we've seen nitrates by any stretch of the imagination. Products use sodium nitrate, uh, creatine nitrate is another one, uh, potassium nitrate, but betaine nitrate is kind of, it's almost kind of exclusive to ruckus. It was in the OG ruckus and now it's come back once again in this, uh, in this new reformulated version of ruckus. For viewers who are unaware, betaine nitrate, of course, a combination of betaine and nitrates. Based on molecular weight, it yields 65% betaine and 35% nitrates. We have 1,500 milligrams of the NO3 T. So we're talking about 975 milligrams of betaine and 525 nitrates. Let's address betaine firstly. Betaine, aka trimethylglycine, boosts muscle protein synthesis through acting as a methyl donor. The way it does this 
is it transfers a methyl group to homocysteine, resulting in methionine, and methionine is responsible for boosting protein synthesis and also boosting creatine synthesis, which is going to come in handy when we discuss another ingredient, LFATP, a little bit later on. Clinical dose of betaine is 1,500 to 2,000 milligrams, so we would have to go so far as to say that as a single ingredient in this ruckus, it is underdosed, but it is part of this betaine nitrate. Moving on to the nitrate side of things, 525 milligrams because the betaine nitrate yields 35% nitrates. Nitrates, a precursor to nitric oxide, the way that they work is nitrates convert to nitrites in the presence of oral bacteria, and then those nitrites convert to nitric, uh, nitric oxide uh, in the presence of deoxygenated blood in our gastrointestinal tract. So a completely different way to boost nitric oxide than the, uh, than the, the citrulline arginine pathway or even the agmatine pathway that we're used to seeing. And it is actually the most efficient way to boost nitric oxide. The clinical dose of nitrates is 6 to 13 milligrams per kilogram of lean body weight. We've got 525 milligrams, so it is, you know, depending on how much you weigh, it doesn't really matter how you cut it, it is towards the lower end of of that dosing range. Moving right along, we then get into L-taurine in a 1,000 milligram dose. L-taurine is an amino sulfonic acid. It improves muscular endurance and cardiac function and also boosts a blood flow via assisting with vasodilation. So we can see a little bit of crossover here between the nitrates and L-taurine in terms of nitric oxide and boosting, uh, boosting nutrient delivery in particular. Clinical dose of L-taurine, 500 to 2,000 milligrams we've got a thousand milligrams so we would go so far as to say that it is clinically dosed. What I'm going to do now viewers I'm going to skip over Infinity and caffeine. We're going to come back to those as part of the stimulant blend. I want to talk about LFATP at this point. LFATP we have in a 150 milligram dose. LFATP is a proprietary ancient peat and apple extract developed by a company called Futureceuticals. It stimulates the production of adenosine triphosphate as an alternative pathway to, to stimulating ATP to creatine. So it's almost like a substitute uh, for creatine. And the main thing it's going to do is increase muscle power in particular. And you can see at this point that we do have a, a crossover between L of ATP and betaine, which acts as a precursor to creatine. So both of those ingredients, the betaine from the betaine nitrate and the L of ATP are gonna help with boosting muscle power in particular. Back to L of ATP, the clinical dose is 150 milligrams. We have 150 milligrams, so we would go so far as to say that it is clinically dosed. Now we can jump back and we're gonna jump back into Infinigy, which is the trademarked registered version of di-caffeine malate. We have 274 milligrams. Infinigy is caffeine ionically bonded to malic acid, yielding 73% caffeine. So we're getting from this 274 milligrams here, viewers, we're getting our first 200 grams of caffeine. Some of the benefits of Infinigy uh, over caffeine anhydrous is that it's a longer lasting stimulatory effect. So it's almost kind of like a, not necessarily sustained release because it comes on pretty quickly, but it lasts longer than, than caffeine anhydrous lasts in terms of the half-life, in terms of how long it takes for it to kind of start to wear off. Also prevents our post-workout crash because of that uh, longer lasting stimulatory effect. And then the malic acid, the 27% malic acid in dicaffeine malate improves digestion. Uh, so you don't get the upset stomach when you have a little bit too much caffeine. The clinical dose, um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, with all these versions of caffeine, I'm actually, I'm gonna skip over the clinical dose because we know that the efficacious dose of total caffeine is really kind of personal but we know that it's somewhere between like 200 milligrams to 400 milligrams. Anything less than 200 milligrams, probably not enough caffeine to get all of the nice effects that we expect from caffeine in, from a pre-workout performance perspective. Anything over about 400 milligrams is really kind of pushing it for, for most people's caffeine tolerance. But it is personal, but that's why I'm not really gonna discuss the clinical until we've been through all the versions of caffeine that we're gonna have a chat about it after that. Moving right along into caffeine and hydrous, 250 milligrams. So we're now at 250 plus 200 from the Infinity wrap, 450 already. 
Caffeine anhydrous, of course, a, a central nervous system stimulant. It's going to enhance physical energy, reduce fatigue, and boost psychological performance. Moving right along, we've discussed LFATP, so we're going to skip over that. We're going to skip over theobromine, and we're going to go to Vitashua, the final version of uh, the three types of caffeine in this ruckus. Vitashua is the registered, trademarked version of encapsulated caffeine. It is sustained release caffeine, and it yields 60% caffeine. So in a 50 milligram dose that we have here in Ruckus, we're adding another 30 grams of caffeine, which means we're up to 480 milligrams in total. The benefit of this VitaSure caffeine is that it is a longer lasting stimulatory effect, obviously, than caffeine and hydrous, but then even longer lasting than the Infinity, which is in its own right a sustained release caffeine. So this is like, this is really, really kind of like, like real sustained release caffeine. So it's not going to come on straight away like Infinity and caffeine and hydrous does. And it's going to last a lot longer than caffeine and hydrous and even longer than Infinity once again. Now we can discuss the clinical dose of caffeine because we've got three types in here. All together, based on how much caffeine is, is yielding, we've got 480 total milligrams of active caffeine, which is, as I mentioned, above that kind of upper limit of caffeine from what we want, what we generally want to see in pre-workouts. So we would go so far as to say that the caffeine is overdosed at this point in time, but we will discuss more about that when we get to the effects. Moving right along, we're jumping back. Theobromine, we have in a 100 milligram dose. Theobromine is the bitter alkaloid of the cacao plant. It's a CNS stimulant, similar to caffeine, but about 10 times weaker than caffeine. Also acts as a heart stimulant, dilates blood vessels, and acts as a rather weak diuretic. The efficacious dose of theobromine is 500 milligrams. We only have 100 milligrams in this ruckus, but you do have to consider that it's combined with 480 milligrams of active caffeine caffeine plus the next two ingredients, the first of which is N-methyl-L-tyramine hydrochloride in a 50 milligram dose. This is L-tyramine with a methyl group attached. It also acts as a central nervous system stimulant similar to caffeine and theobromine. It also acts as a strong beta-2 adrenergic receptor agonist, which means it upregulates your beta receptors and increases CAMP levels, which is going to have the effect of boosting your base metabolic rate and increasing oxidation of fatty acids. It also stimulates the release of norepinephrine, or, or aka noradrenaline, which is going to increase concentration and your heart rate. And finally, it acts as a mild alpha-2 adrenoreceptor antagonist, which is going to boost the insulin secretion or insulin secretion in your body and decrease your blood sugar level as a result of boosting the insulin secretion. The clinical dose of N-methyl-L-tyramine is 200 milligrams. We only have 50 milligrams in this ruckus, but once again, it does have to be combined with all the other stimulants in this ruckus. The final and the final ingredient is hordenine, HCl, hordenine hydrochloride in a 50 milligram dose. Hordenine, aka NN dimethyl L tyramine, also acts as a CNS stimulant, also boosts metabolic rate, and has a kind of side effect of reducing appetite. Efficacious dose of hordenine is 25 to 50 milligrams. We have 50 milligrams, so we would go so far as to say that it is clinically dosed. Got yourself about 35% artificial flavors, sweeteners, no artificial colors or dyes. And that's what's in it. So 10 ingredients. I wouldn't go so far as to say a complicated supplement, uh, but I'd go so far as to say a comprehensive pre-workout supplement. We've got ingredients in there for mental focus. We've got ingredients in there for muscle power, ingredients for nitric oxide, ingredients for endurance, and a shit ton of ingredients in there for energy. <laughs> half of the, is it, is it half actually? It's got one, two, three, four, five, more than half. So six of the 10 ingredients are stimulants in this ruckus. So we're dealing with a very, very high stimulant pre-workout here, viewers at home. Uh, if we break down that nutritional information panel and we kind of get a bit nitpicky as we like to do in raw reviews, hold companies accountable, uh, and we look at what it's missing, First and foremost, the most obvious thing is creatine, which you guys know I'm a big fan of not having in your pre-workout supplement because I believe it's far more effective 
post-workout with high glycemic carbohydrates for, for absorption and bioavailability. Um, so I'm happy not to see creatine. Plus, we've got, we discussed L of ATP and betaine in the form of betaine nitrate in here, which combine very well and work synergistically very well uh, to boost muscle power. So it kind of removes the need for anything else like creatine that is also going to boost muscle power. Uh, definitely could have something else in there for pumps and nutrient delivery. We've got just pretty much nitrates, a little bit of side effect from L-taurine in there um, in terms of vasodilation, but there's no citrulline, there's no agmatine, there's no nitrosogen or anything like that. Uh, definitely could do with something for muscle volume, like a Hydromax glycerol, a glycerol monosterate, a GPLC, something to hyperhydrate muscles. Uh, something more for muscular endurance. So the only muscular endurance ingredient we have in this ruckus is taurine. There's no beta alanine, there's no creatine or phosphate or anything like that. And then finally, something more for mental focus. So really, you know, you've got the stimulants in there, which always have the kind of side effect of perceived increased mental focus. And then just tyrosine. So there's no N-acetyl-L tyrosine. There's no choline, huperzine A, tooth club moss extract. There's no mucunipurines. So definitely you could kind of, you know, on paper, bump up the mental focus aspect of, uh, of, of, of things in this ruckus. But apart from that, I mean... Man, very, very high stimulants uh, pre-workout supplement with some pretty cool ingredients that on paper, you know, work synergistically quite well with each other. In terms of how it tastes, how it mixes, comes in two flavors. Comes in blue raspberry, comes in pie and apple. I've got myself my personal tub uh, of, of uh, blue raspberry ruckus right here. And as you can see, I've been using this ruckus a lot because I think I've got like two scoops left. <laughs> left in my, uh, in my personal tub of ruckus, which means when we get to the effects, you guys are going to get some really cool uh, explanation of the effects because I've been using this ruckus a lot with a whole lot of different muscle groups. Infamous Massive Joe's taste and mixability tests about to go down. Got our double wall glass with a spoon. Going to take myself one scoop group of this MTS ruckus and I will at this point mention that these scoops are pretty much bang on 7.6 grams. So a level scoop, that's probably a little bit, I've just gone a little bit over there. A truly level scoop is like 7.65 grams. So it's, it's pretty much bang on. They haven't you know, overstated the scoop, understated the scoop, which is good to see because most companies f it up. Uh, Going to take myself one scoop of this MTS ruckus, drop this bitch in this bitch, and let it rain, let it rain. Few flicks of the wrist. At this point, you guys can see what I was talking about when I say that MTS no longer use artificial colors or dyes, uh, because there ain't nothing blue about that blue raspberry, man. That's like a fucking misty, white, creamy looking raspberry. Anyway, few flicks of the wrist. I'm gonna show you guys how it mixes. Refresh my memory on how this blue raspberry ruckus tastes, man. That's enough. As I'm sure you guys can see, no floaters, no sinkers, pretty much nothing in there that, that hasn't mixed. So I would actually go so far as to say blender ball is not required <laughs> for this here MTS ruckus. Let me refresh my memory on how this blue raspberry tastes, man. It's not bad. They've done, a, they've done a pretty good job with it. The one thing that I do have to point out is that, uh, well, first I mixed that made, made exactly two directions. So eight ounces of water, one scoop. So exactly as listed on the label. The one thing I have to point out is both the blue raspberry and the pineapple have like this tangy, tarty kind of aftertaste to them. It's kind of It's definitely a tang. I really have to call it a tang. It's quite like, they're quite pleasant flavors to drink. Just the tang kind of hits you. You're like, blue raspberry, nice. Ooh, what's that? And the same with the pineapple. It's like, ooh, nice pineapple. Ooh, hold on a second. 
I wasn't expecting that from my pineapple. Uh, so definitely a tangy aftertaste. But the flavors are not bad. Very, very easy to drink across both of them. If I had to rank them, I'd probably take the pineapple first, just because the pineapple does kind of support that tanginess uh, a little better than the blue raspberry. I think blue raspberry you kind of expect to be a real sweet flavor, not a tangy flavor, whereas pineapple, I mean, pineapple naturally is kind of sweet and tangy at the same time. So I'll probably go pineapple first, blue raspberry second, but both flavors are very, very good. In terms of the effects, now, I said to you guys, I've been training on this ruckus a whole lot. I've trained pretty much every muscle group on this ruckus at this point in time. Uh, and those of you who have seen preview would already know what my initial thoughts were on the ruckus. So I've been able to, over you know, the last month or so, train on it a lot with different muscle groups and kind of uh, uh, distill those thoughts out or collect a lot of thoughts and then distill them out for you guys. So I just want to go through the the five main effects that we look for in pre-workouts and just give you my thoughts on that and then talk a little bit specifically about my experience with this ruckus so muscle pump and volume muscle pumps are ridiculous but they wear off very quickly so you get a really good pump in like the first 30 to 45 minutes of your workout and then you get like nothing after that so definitely something like an agmatine or even something like a citrulline or, 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 a, or a hydromax glycerol is really going to work quite well just being able to maintain that muscle pump because the pumps are f***ing stupid, uh, but they just die off very, very quickly. Muscle power is amazing. Really, really good muscle power. The combination of that betaine from the betaine nitrate and the L of ATP, I mean, you just feel strong like a like a and rhinoceros in the, in, in the gym when you train on this ruckus. Really, really good for muscle power. Muscular endurance, almost non-existent. That's definitely a big issue with this ruckus, uh, is just the lack of muscular endurance. And I'll discuss how that plays in a little bit later on. I just want to hold that thought for a second. Mental focus is okay. It's nothing exceptional. You can definitely tell that it's kind of hiding behind a very, very strong stimulant effect and not kind of mental focus in its own right, but it's definitely there. It's definitely noticeable. It's just nothing exceptional. The energy is stupid. And this is what I want to elaborate on for you guys. Firstly, it doesn't feel like 480 milligrams of caffeine. It really doesn't. And those of you who follow my raw reviews and my videos and my workouts and all the other shit that I do on social media would know that for me personally, 300 milligrams of caffeine is like my upper limit in a single dose. If I have more than 300 milligrams of caffeine and hydrous, I'm like jittery and just scattered and I feel tired and I start yawning and it's just um, this feels like about 250 milligrams of, of caffeine and then just gets better as, as your workout goes on. It's really ridiculous, the energy from this ruckus. It's, it's, it, the energy comes on quickly, it's stable, and then it kind of gets better as you continue training. It's, it's always, you know, most pre-workouts hit you really hard. You feel great for like an hour and then you start to come down a little bit. Ruckus like keeps you going up and up and up and up to the point where like I've trained legs on Ruckus for like over two hours and I still felt like I could keep training. The one thing that stopped me was the muscular endurance. My muscles were just like, no, we've had enough of this. But me, you know, physically and psychologically, I felt like I could keep going. The, the energy with this stuff is, is like nothing I've ever experienced with a pre-workout before viewers at home. It is amazing. Uh, I really don't know how else to explain it other than that. Um, no post-workout crash either, which is really, really good considering the amount of active caffeine. I just think that the combination of the three different types of caffeine where you have the anhydrous and the Infinity come on real quick, the anhydrous tapers off, the Infinity continues, and then the VitaSure kicks in and just continues, continues, continues. And then you've got, in addition to that, the theobromine, the n tyramine and the hortonine kind of kicking in later on down the track as well. It's just a great 
like energy wise, like I want this energy blend in all of my pre-workouts. Let's put it that way. Uh, it's that good. I think like MTS, my man, Mark Loebliner has just nailed the ratios of these different stimulants, the amount of these different stimulants to give you an incredibly awesome energy experience that just keeps on going and going and going. Um, very, very pleasantly surprising because the first time I tried it, and those of you who have seen preview would, would know because I said it in the preview, I was like, man, I'm worried about this because I know what happens to me when I have more than 300 milligrams of caffeine in a single dose. This 480 active, this is gonna make me feel like shit, but it really, ha it, ple it was pleasantly surprising more than anything else, the, the, the effect. The one thing that I do want to point out is like I haven't found a muscle group where like the ruckus has like the, the energy has stopped me from training where you get to the end of the workout you're like man I'm exhausted. I haven't had that. I feel like I really have not outtrained the ruckus in terms of energy. The one thing that has stopped me is the the muscular endurance. So I think that you know, when we talk about the, the, the stackability of this product and the, the sorts of things that it's gonna stack well with, I really think that to get the most out of it, it really needs to be stacked with at least a beta alanine. Uh, you know, a creation supplements beta pure is a fantastic choice just to throw some beta alanine in there with the ruckus. And then I honestly think like, man, you're gonna be able to train as long as you and want to train. If you want to train for three hours, you know, if you combine the energy from the ruckus with, with something to add a little bit of muscular endurance in there, like a, like a Beta Pure from Creation Supplements, man, like it's, it's fucking game on. Um, while we're on stackability, other things that's going to stack well with, I mentioned the muscle pumps really kind of come on fast, but then drop off fast as well. Obviously, MTS has, has left space for this to be stacked with MTS Vasky, uh, you know, to really boost up those muscle pumps, boost up that muscle volume, and allow those muscle pumps that come on really, really fast and really, really strong just to maintain throughout the workout and kind of match the energy, the physical energy that you're gonna get from the ruckus. So definitely stacking it with a, any non-stimulant pump formula, like an MTS Vasky, is gonna be very, very good as well. Side effects. I mean, none experienced. Obviously, if you are if you are very sensitive to caffeine, you probably want to start with like a quarter of a scoop, <laughs> maybe half a scoop, and then kind of take it from there. Because no matter how you cut it, it is although it doesn't all hit you at once, it is 480 milligrams of active caffeine. So you do have to definitely, definitely keep that in mind. Um, you know, not only as a as as a pre workout sub, but as your daily caffeine, total caffeine intake throughout the day as well, um, because it is going to add a big chunk of caffeine to your total daily caffeine intake. The final thing I will say is in terms of price and value for money, you're looking in the Australian market, your 25 serve ruckus, which is now five serves more than the OG. The OG was 20 serves, this is now 25 serves. Uh, you're looking at 59.95, which breaks it down to $2.40 per scoop, which is very, very good value for money in the Australian marketplace. Not many high stimulant, very, very strong pre-workouts in their own right are gonna get to you for that price, let alone something that's got cool ingredients in addition to the stimulants, like your betaine nitrate, like your full clinical dose of LF ATP, like your L-tyrosine and all the other shit that Ruckers has got in here. So in its own right, very, very good value for money. You're never gonna have to take more than one scoop. So it is a true uh, $2.40 per scoop, 25 serves per tub at $59.95. I mean, even if you're stacking it with a creation supplements beta pure with an MTS Vasky. You put the combined price of all that together and it's still amazing value for money when you compare it to the highest level complete pre-workout supplements on the market that you're usually looking at $3.50 to $4 per uh, per serve. I mean, even when you stack it, the ruckus is, is, is really, really good value for money. So guys, if you're in the market for a stupidly high energy, high stimulant pre-workout supplement that is going to give you amazingly fast onsetting muscle pumps and just allow you to train as long as you want to train. You gotta give yourself some of this all new MTS ruckus a shot. Guys, hit the subscribe button.
Subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn your post notifications on, both on your mobile, your cell phone, and your desktop PC, so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel. And guys, that is Massive Joe's raw review on the all-new MTS Ruckus in the house. And I'm coming to you from MassiveJoe's.com. Stay